Well, it was about time. ClickUp just released officially the whiteboarding feature. Boom, knew it. Tell us about it, please. This brings ClickUp a step closer to the all-in-one application. But if it is really the case, we will find out in this video. Many of you know I love using Miro as the whiteboarding tool to go for me. But I also say it doesn't matter what tool you use as long you have something to whiteboard. Use a piece of paper, use your Remarkable and draw out your work streams. That's just key to become more productive, to stay sane. However, having a whiteboarding feature inside ClickUp, the tool that we actually use for project management inside the paperless movement as well, has some great advantages. Although you see the features are still very limited compared to Miro, it always comes to the purpose, the reason behind the tools that you use. And this is why I warn my members always about looking for the next shiny object, next shiny tool, because they have so fancy features. First, you have to realize in a tool agnostic way what you actually need in your productivity setup and then pick the tools that work. What all this means, let's have a look inside the whiteboarding tool inside ClickUp, how I will use it in the future, all the features that we have so far and what I wish to see soon inside the new whiteboarding tool as well. So what we see here is ClickUp. And if you went through the iCore course, then you know how I set this up in ClickUp. I actually have my conventions list here and we have the paperless movement work streams and how these work streams are laid out we see in Miro. So you see here our, for example, our interview work stream. You see the different steps until we publish an interview to a blog post and as a podcast, we see the responsibility chart. So if you want to see all the details, make sure that you actually watch my course. And uh, what we have here on each process step, we have a button to go to ClickUp to the related SOP. And now we have the whiteboarding feature inside ClickUp. So it might change a lot because I'm trying to consolidate to create a single source of truth. And I only get a single source of truth by connecting things, different platforms, and you know, define one final destination, one platform I'm looking at it. For this reason, for example, in the work stream section, we have the Miro board embedded or actually added here. So we can click here and I see the same that I just showed you before inside ClickUp. So you see, I have direct access. So this means ClickUp is my single source of truth, the place where we work in and everything else that is scattered information and we create elsewhere needs to go back. All this is defined using the I-Core principle. And now we might think about that we can replace Miro in this place with a my whiteboard from ClickUp. So it would be awesome if I could now reference a whiteboard, but this is not a thing that we can do in ClickUp right now. Okay, but there's still a purpose. So we have uh, the task lists here. For example, here are uh, in this live interview section, all related to the work stream that I showed you. So we see the videos recorded and the different works process steps, the published interviews and so on. We have the release calendar. So we can already repurpose the data that we create for these tasks in different views. And whiteboards are just an additional view. So let's have a look how we could leverage this now because we have some one-time tasks and this is just a simple list where we collect tasks that we need to work on and I actually need to update the overdue stuff there. This just got behind due to COVID. Um, it actually hit my family as well. Thumbs up, everything okay and all out there. Stay safe as well and healthy in this crazy world right now. So what I did here, I just clicked view and added a whiteboard. You can do on this whiteboard what you would expect to do from a whiteboard. You can drag in some shapes and this is very basic. So if you go into Miro and we look at this, we have a lot more that we can pick. We have the official BPMN, which is the business icons that we use for processes. It is not that complex, but for simple processes, you can use this. Another thing is you have a to draw on it. And I have to check if this actually works on iPad. And then we have the sticky notes, you know, this as well. I like the plus buttons that you can just do it this way. So it's similar to what you used from Miro, for example. And then we have some text, yeah? So this is very standard whiteboarding. What you also get some mind mapping. So we just click there, tap, you can write next, bring this over. So it seems I cannot change the connection to a new parent. 
which is unfortunate, but what you can see, the alignment works great. It would be great if I can connect now this one to this one. You have the connections, so I can now bring this together. It will connect it, but all very basic. So why in the world would I use this? Well, I'm looking forward to get access to docs. When you go over here, it seems coming soon lists and coming soon docs. And once this is coming in, this will be a game changer because then I can recreate my work stream inside ClickUp with a direct reference to the different docs. I can go through the work stream with the docs already in place. There's no external connections going on. But this being said, let's get back to the list of other tasks. Go in here, press the plus button and we see the recent task. We can say browse for tasks. So we can go to this list manually and find the tasks there. Or much easier, I think, you go to the list where you're interested in, right click and copy link. You go back into your whiteboard or you have it open on a different tab and then you paste it with using Command V or Control V on Windows and you see it pasted it down there. For some reason it pastes on the bottom left, not in the middle of the screen. So sometimes it just disappears. If this happens, you can press the button up here and it will fit everything that you have on your whiteboard to the screen. So let's just add another sticky note here, press this button again, and you see now everything is centered and everything that we have on the white block is there. However, this being said, I would love to see minimap that we have here in Miro for easier navigation. I don't know if this is coming. I guess so, because they teamed up with a lot of whiteboarding companies. Essentially, they also bought companies that build whiteboarding tools. So I'm really excited to see what they come up in the future. This is certainly just the start of it. But now you see it, I have iCore Compare. This is actually the comparison tool that we are still building on. I click on this and I can maximize it and I can work on this. Unfortunately, although it is shown there, which is great, um, but I cannot change the progress or the priority here. Also, the assignment is not possible. So it just shows some information. I also cannot change what is shown on the card. Um, this would be a great update if they add this as well. Let's bring in another thing. Now I can make some structure in there and connect these two things. However, this being said, it's, there's not much you can change. You can just switch this on, have two arrows in both directions, or when you do it this way, you can click and change this. But again, it is just, there's no control. When I have such a thing here, and I will just bring this up, I can select this and I have full control over the arrows and so on. So if I want to make fancy work streams and stuff like that, I'm sure I will stick to Miro for now. And let's see what new style features they bring in here. But for connecting the tasks and say an order in which we are working on this and have a mind map of all the tasks we want to do to achieve a certain goal, this is what I'm going to use the whiteboarding for. So I will lay out the single tasks that I have in a long list here and I can do it this way. I'm all about prioritization rather than due dates because it's always hard to hit them. So having it in this way, you have a flow. You have a you have a work stream essentially created for the specific project that you're working through and you see the progress there. So as soon as I tick this off, I can do this. And there's the thing. I would expect as soon I connect these two tasks with this arrow, if you want to be innovative, click up, then make relations out of this, dependencies. So as soon as I bring the arrow into this direction, I would expect that this task is dependent on this task. So when I open this up, I would expect that here somewhere, and here we can add a dependency waiting on iCore Compare. And then I can say, okay, I have to finish iCore Compare first. It's neither working by just connecting the arrows, nor is it indicating now that it is dependent, right? So if you really want to have a nice whiteboarding tool there that actually brings great functionality, not just trying to copy Miro or other tools, but be unique and integrated with your own tool. This is what I would double down on. Okay, guys, this was just the first look. If you like what you saw, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Check out the Payless Movement as well. We are there waiting for you, helping you to find the right tools to level up your productivity. And yeah, I'll catch you up next time, right? See you then.